Hi everyone, I just wanted to pop in tonight rather than do a sort of more lengthy formal topic and theme. Um, I thought it'd be really helpful to start doing some shorter, um, what I call nutrition in the news. I used to do more of these and um, it was something that came to light just recently, um, which I think was, would be of real interest to you, um, helping you stay abreast of really topical things that I'm picking up and how that impacts your own health, how it impacts you on making decisions on your food choices. Now, the thing I wanna just talk about briefly is around the area of artificial sweeteners. I mean, how many of you drink um, any fizzy drinks or low sugar items and therefore they've got artificial sweeteners in them? Um, if you ever choose the low fat options, or the low sugar options, often they're going to have artificial sweeteners in as a way to keep the calorie content down or as a way to be seen as a healthy alternative because it hasn't got the sugar content. Um, I've always been very wary of artificial sweeteners. At the end of the day, they are chemicals. They are not natural substances. And so, you know, do I wanna put additional chemicals in my body? I can't avoid them, but I'm gonna find ways to reduce my intake of those. So I thought it was very interesting to read some latest research that came out from the World Health Organization and the research arm of WHO, the World Health Organization. Um, I think there are some politics at play here. I think the big food manufacturers and drink manufacturers are certainly influencing what is happening in this space. Um, but let me just explain. So it's a, a recent bit of research that was done by the arm um, research arm of the World Health Organization. Uh, they determined that aspartame, this particular artificial sweetener called aspartame, is potentially carcinogenic. That means it has the potential to cause cancer in the human body. Um, now, there's been a couple of other studies. I found one in France last year, 100,000 people um, showing with aspartame there was an increased uh, risk of cancer. Um, another study to do with other artificial beverages, sweet, you know, artificially sweetened beverages in the United States, that was done in 2019, about an increased risk of stroke. I mean, there's been lots of studies to do with um, artificial sweeteners and potential impact on health, but still, um, certainly in the UK, and if you read about it on the NHS website, it will say there are 11 sweeteners, they're all approved, they are safe for use in small quantities. And and I think it's quite difficult to determine what is a small quantity. And if you eat a lot of different foods that may have artificial sweeteners and or drinks and collectively you add these all up into the body, how well is the body adapted to deal with these? That's the issue, I think. Now, um, it was interesting because at the end of June, the World Health Organization came out and said, it was very end of June, we are about to declare that this is potentially carcinogenic aspartame. And I noticed that it was two weeks later, it was almost allowed time for some reviews to take place for industry to influence what was actually going to be formally declared. And I went back and looked at what was formally declared. And what was formally declared is that there is limited evidence to show that um, aspartame is potentially carcinogenic. Um, so it's limited evidence and therefore uh, aspartame is still completely free to be used um, in drinks and in food, um, along with all the others that are already approved for use. Um, no change there at all in terms of upper safe limits. And it's determined that the amount you're likely to consume in a day falls well below the um, upper safe limit. Now, we may not have a huge amount of studies in this space yet, um, but do we really want to wait until there are enough studies, until we decide that actually, I don't want this to form any part um, in my diet, we are overrunning chemicals in the world. I couldn't give you the statistics of these compared to say the 1950s, but we do know that cancer rates are rocketing all the time in all aspects of cancer in the body, different types of cancer. 
And we have to ask why that is, what is influencing that? And it comes down, I believe, to our lifestyles. There's lots of factors at play. Um, and focusing first and foremost on your nutrition is critical and detoxification capabilities. So think twice, occasional use may be absolutely fine. I'm all for everything in moderation. Um, but what I don't think is that these sweeteners should be creeping into the diet on a regular basis, on a daily basis. Look at your labeling, decide whether you really need these things. Can you choose a water that you flavor with some fruit or mint um, or cucumber as a way to make it more interesting? Um, you know, look at food packaging labels with all artificial sweeteners. The only ones that are not artificial but don't have the impact on raising your glucose levels, I believe are stevia and xylitol. They are the natural sweeteners that don't impact our blood sugar levels. I could go on about this for much longer. I think I've talked long enough about that. Very interested in your thoughts. Do drop me some messages. Um, any more information I find out about this, I'm very happy to pop back in here and share this with you. So I hope you found this interesting. Thank you for watching or catching up with this later on.